Hello everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video guide, I'll show you how to completely disassemble your Apple Watch to replace the main housing. This video guide shows the repair process of the LTE version of the Apple Watch, but the GPS only version has a similar repair process. To disassemble the Apple Watch, you'll need the following tools screwdriver set with tri wing 0.8mm screwdriver, tweezers, plastic opening tools, glue. I will use B7000 glue due to its high elasticity, anti-vibration, and water-resistant properties. Screen disassembly tool. This tool has a very thin curved metal blade for opening electronic devices with a screen that is difficult to pry with a common plastic tool. I think this is a must-have tool for disassembling all Apple Watch series because the gap between the screen and the watch body is so thin. Adhesive sticker. I left links where to buy all the necessary tools in the description. I recommend using a magnetic mat during the repair process, which is especially useful in the case of the Apple Watch. Throughout this disassembly, keep track of each screw and part so you can put them back in the right places. This will help successfully reassemble your Apple Watch. And don't worry about losing any screws and small parts. All of them will definitely remain on the magnetic mat. Before you start, turn off the Apple Watch. For a more successful opening of the watch case, warm up the surface of the display with a regular hair dryer. Insert the edge of the curved blade into the thin gap between the display and the watch case. From this position, gradually begin to separate the display. To avoid damaging internal components, try not to push the blade deep inside the watch. Carefully turn the display towards the watch crown. Don't worry if you tear off that part of the black foil. This doesn't apply to the mainboard ribbon cable. Now, carefully pull the display ribbon cables out of their connectors. The Apple Watch battery is glued to the watch body. You can use isopropyl alcohol to safely remove the battery. Add some isopropyl alcohol under the battery and wait a bit. Use a plastic tool to pry out the battery. Disconnect the battery cable.
Disconnect the cable and remove the vibration module. Using tweezers, pull out the internal speaker from the Apple Watch housing. Now, slightly press down on the motherboard to separate the back glass, along with the motherboard, from the outer housing of the Apple Watch. Be careful with ribbon cables when removing the main board from the main shell of the watch. Be careful with these little springs, they are very easy to lose. Disconnect the mainboard ribbon cable from the back glass.
you can now replace the main housing of the Apple Watch. I recommend replacing the housing assembly with a crown shaft. This simplifies the repair process for you, and the assembly housing is always available on eBay and similar websites, where sellers disassemble Apple Watches for parts. Anyway, in the description, I left a link where to buy the main housing for the Apple Watch. Let's start assembling the watch on the new housing.
Before continuing assembly, make sure that the button of the locking mechanism works fine.
use double-sided adhesive tape to reclude the battery to the watch body. Before gluing the display to the main housing, test the watch and check all functions. It looks like the watch is working fine. Now you can proceed to the final part of the assembly. If your gasket is fine and holds well on the main housing, you can glue it on one side. Let's move on to gluing the display with the housing. This will restore protection from water and dust. For protection against water and dust, glue is more effective. To fix the display and the main housing, you can use clips or rubber bands. The B7000 glue dries completely after 24 hours, but the minimum surface drying time is 6 minutes. So I recommend waiting at least 45 minutes, after which you can remove excess glue.
This repair is complete. You're on How Fix It, and see you next time.